Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add a service list to a Wix website. Before we start, hurry up and check out our data stuff for just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we add a service list? Well, what we need to do first here is we need to actually add a few section. So in this case, let's go ahead and scroll down a bit here. And I want to actually add a new section just underneath the, uh, this section here. Let's go and click on add section. Let's add a blank section here. Now, since we now have a blank section, we are now ready to add our service. So let's go ahead and click on the add elements option at the top left here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to look for the bookings option. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on the add to site option. And from here, it's going to add Wix bookings. So let's just wait for it to actually uh, full, uh, load up. But once it's actually loaded up, let's go and click on the plus button again. And you want to go to bookings again. And from here, you could choose the service list option here. So you could choose whatever format you want. So for example, I'm going to actually use a section here. So let's just say uh, this, uh, this one. So this one. Now, also, you might want to first check out your website. As you can see, it's going to be automatically added into your website. So in this case, you can basically remove this one if you want to and replace it with another one. So want to delete Wix bookings. So in this case, you need to uh, actually delete that if you want to click on OK. And let's just wait for it to be removed and re-add it again. So we want to redirect us back into the home page. Let's go and choose site pages and home page again. And let's go ahead and re-add it in here. So in this case, Again, plus button here, want to bookings and want to choose this one, drag it into your website and that should be automatically added as you can see right now. Now from here, we want to start editing our services. So what we need to do is just click on manage services. And from here, you could go in and start adding your services. So in this case, do whatever you want here. So first you need to choose what service. So maybe a single session, a virtual consultation, price estimate, info session, or whatnot. So for example, maybe I want to say it is going to be a virtual consultation. Let's go and choose this one. And from here, we should be able to see the service detail. So in this case, go ahead and add whatever detail you need here. So in this case, uh, you could go and fill out the uh, price for it, the location, the staff that will be available for the actual uh, service. And when, uh, if you want to add images, booking preference, you could go do, do that as well, as you can see right now. So in this case, go ahead and click on save once you're done. And in this case, we first need to add our price. So this, should, this is just an example. Go ahead and click on save. From here, click on save anyways. And in this case, this should actually add our service. As you can see, we now have a service list here. Now, in this case, if you want to add another one, just click on add new service and that should add your service. So let me actually go back in here and click on the save button. It should actually give you the actual list. So it's no longer going to give you or show you placeholders. It should actually show you the actual service list that we just added. Again, if you want to change a few things, just click on manage services. And if you want to change the actual widget, you can go to services, even manage a few things there. Like for example, your layout, displays, the text, and even design if you want to. But yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.